Hi guys. Okay, so this week we're up to our second postcard. We've chosen Venice here for you. So what you need to do is design your postcard so that your whole postcard is full with your background and then a gondola with the gondolier. We also need you to label it. So welcome to Venice and then the Italian translation, which is Benvenuti a Venezia. And then put the Italian flag, okay? Now, if you're a five, six, you need to do exactly the same thing, but you need to add the little message that goes down the bottom of your postcard, okay? So today I have visited Venice and went for a, ride, a gondola ride, okay? So just the simple translation there, and then that's all you need to do, okay? Okay, now we've got a couple of examples of how you can do the gondola and the gondolier. Um, you're probably wondering why I have a toilet paper roll here. That's because if you've got a spare one of these at home, this could come in very handy for you to make your gondola. One of the ideas I had was to make um, a 3D gondola and then take a picture of it with your background behind. If you didn't want to do that, that's fine. You could just draw one. Or oh, this is also another 3D one. There's a piece of cardboard that's just a one-sided um, gondola, but I really like the background of this. If you choose to make a cardboard 3D one, you still need to add the background picture. So when you take the picture of your work, it'll still look like a postcard. Um, the bridge, the water, some buildings in the background. Add a gondolier if you can. Um, that's the guy that, or the woman that drives or sails the gondola. Um, yeah, we're excited to see these. I think they'll be something a bit different for you to have a go at. Now, the other example that I'm gonna give you because you need to make two postcards, one of them needs to be something from Italy. The other one we've chosen is a landmark close to us, kind of close to us, the Sydney Harbour Bridge. It's up to you how you do this. Again, you might wanna try something 3D, it would be trickier. So if you want to just draw the Sydney Opera House, you could just follow this direct draw step by step. It talks you through. Um, it is quite a tricky structure to draw, so that's why I thought the steps might come in handy. Just remember to make sure that you do fill the whole background is because this is meant to look like a picture or a postcard. Um, please remember to upload, and if you can, join us on our weekly WebEx. Hi three fours and five sixes. This week for your PE activities, um, I have put on a paper challenge for you. So in this YouTube video, there is a demonstration of that. And the second activity is a trick shot. So I've included a video to give you some ideas of a trick shot. And I've also included a video of the trick shot that we did at home as well. So you can get creative and try anything you like. Don't forget you need to upload your work onto the Google Classroom when you are done. Um, and enjoy, happy exercising. Of our paper challenge that I have given you this week. Okay, so what you need is five pieces of paper, or you could use some teddies or toys or things like that if you can't find any paper. Now, there's two levels to this challenge, okay? If you leave the paper open like this, this is harder. If you want to make it a little bit easier, you can fold your paper in half this way. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to put down your five pieces of paper, with a bit of a space in between. Then you're going to perform different exercises around these pieces of paper. Okay, so the first one is a two foot jump over the top. Up you go. And then you would run back around the side. Now when you complete this, I want you to do each exercise three times. But for this video, Lily's just gonna demonstrate them one time each. Second one would be a single leg hop on one foot, then you'll come back and do it on the opposite foot. So you'll do each of those three times each. The next one is a frog jump. So your hands all the way down to the ground and you jump over the paper. 
Next one would be a side jump. So you need to face the side and jump over it sideways. Okay, then you would come back and face the other way and jump over them sideways. Next one is a plank walk. So in a plank position, you will walk across the top of the paper. Again, we do this three times. Next one is a duck walk. So we want to crouch nice and low and walk around the outside in a zigzag pattern of the pieces of paper. Well done. Next one is a bear crawl with our hands and feet on the ground. Well done, Lily. And the last one is going to be a zigzag shuffle between the papers. Okay, and then you'd run back around the outside. Okay, so you need to remember for each of those exercises we've demonstrated, you need to do them all three times each before you're finished. Happy exercising.